So here we go, we're starting to fix our Mini Cooper S project car. Um, it had a front end crash and this is a, we didn't even know these existed. Um, this is a water pump for, an auxiliary water pump for cooling the turbo. So we've got the turbo here and these two pipes, there's an in and an out pipe and it's circulating, pumping water through to keep the turbo cool. Um, the one on the right as you're looking at it is what it should look like. You've got little arrows of the water flow there. It's a little motor. Um, you've got the connector in here. Uh, and you can see mine is clearly in the accident. It's lost this whole top. The, the bits were left. We had the ends in the tubes. We've cleaned those out and we're just going to put this one back on. We've just got these two bolts to fix on here. Um, and then once we've got this on, we can put the front panel on. So those, I might want the other one. I might want That's the other the one. That one. one is the broken one. I was going to confuse the hell out of me there. So let's have a look. Where are those two bolts where it bolted off? So they're tucked right up the back there. Oh yeah, that's it. And in behind all of these electrical connections. connections. Okay, so let's have a go at getting those on in there. Oh, I like those on I think we're lucky it didn't catch. It doesn't seem to have, the accident has caught the catalyst or anything, does it? It's all, it seems to have just... But I think they do get damaged in a crash because there's a guy on eBay I bought this bit off and... They seem pretty fragile and brittle, don't they? Yeah, because when they we took to, the, to break the bits of tube that were left in the hose were were sort of flaky, weren't they? And the guy that we got the replacement off had three that were broken as well. So they seem to be... This might help you if you're just replacing yours anyway. That's where the, the bolts are. Gosh, they're not more bolts. Right. Get those out, get the water, water connections back on. Right, oh. Plug that. that electrical connector in first. Out the back, right, that's cool. I think you can hook that back up as oh, well. I think that goes in, in there, doesn't it? What, what, what have we got here? You've got two cable clips there, and then I think, does it go uh, on the top there? Top, yeah, I reckon. Seems like it slides on there. From the other side, maybe. I'm trying to work it out, or down from the. Yeah, from the other side, I reckon you're right. Yeah. Little, got some little tram rail of it. <coughs> Stop. Ah, so I think what we've got here is what, what was supposed to be here has been damaged, but I think we've got enough just to. We might put a cable tie around it, but that's supposed to clip on there, and then because of the heat, I guess around here, these that's supposed to clip. Those little clips keep that keep that out of the way of everything. And it's fairly self-evident. I don't think you can get these pipes wrong, which is good for us, isn't it? Yep. So the one with the the banjo on it here runs down and goes in that top one, which is the out, and then the. The one without the banjo that tucks around the back there is the in. Put that on, and then we're all whoa. Squeeze those together. And then obviously you've got to fill your coolant up, and we've obviously got to put the. If you're doing this with the um, the radiator and everything on, it's obviously going to be a lot more fiddly, but hopefully by seeing it without that on, if you've got to change that, that should help you find where you're going, where you're feeling. 